Welcome to the series of video tutorials that will teach you the basic concepts of asterisk dial plan and show you how to create dial plan using visual dial plan development environment. This is the first tutorial. The dial plan is truly the heart of any asterisk system. It defines how asterisk handles inbound and outbound calls. Everything from voicemail to conferencing to voice menus is done through the dialed plan, in a nutshell, it consists of a list of instructions or steps that asterisk will follow. The asterisk dial plan is specified in the configuration file named extensions.conf. Asterisk dial plan can be created using various tools. However the only way to take advantage of full asterisk dial plan potential is to have access to all asterisk dial plan applications. And you can do that only by typing dial plan commands directly to the extensions.conf file, which is quite complex and boring, or by using visual dial plan for asterisk. Visual dial plan is a powerful tool, lets you create, maintain, and deploy asterisk dial plan in an intuitive and visual interface. The final output of visual dial plan will be new extensions.conf file. We'll start with a very simple example. We are going to instruct asterisk to answer a call, play a sound file, and then hang up. First we will start visual dialed plan and create new context named inbound. Contexts are named groups of extensions, which serve several purposes, and keeps different parts of the dial plan from interacting with one another. The purpose of this context will be to serve all incoming calls. And now we are ready to design incoming call flow. When designing the call flow the first thing we need to do is to define the extensions. For the purpose of this demo we will define only S extension. The purpose of S extension is to handle the calls that enter a context without a specific destination extension. The S stands for start. Then we will use answer building block to answer a channel that is ringing. and once we answer the call we will play a sound file. We will use the playback building block and double click on the block to define the sound file we want to be played. Note that when using the playback block, input from the user is simply ignored. And last block is the hang up block that does exactly as its name implies. It hangs up the active call. Note that you should always use the hang-up block at the end of a context when you want to end the current call to ensure that callers don't continue on in the dial plan in a way you might not have anticipated. And we are done. We created the call flow for incoming calls. In the first step we'll answer the call. In the second, we'll play a sound file named Hello World, and in the third we'll hang up the call. Now we will check the dial plan against errors. All is fine, and we are ready to proceed and deploy. We can deploy dial plan directly to the remote asterisk server, but for the purpose of this example I'll deploy it at my local server. OK. And here is what the deployed dial plan looks like. You can test it by simply calling your asterisk PBX. In the next tutorial we will modify the simple dial plan by adding more extensions, then we'll add the dial building block to call specified number, and we'll add voicemail building block to demonstrate usage of voicemails. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Full functional, free of charge trial version of Visual Dial Plan for Asterisk can be downloaded from our website. www.upstill.com